Hi there, welcome back to another Transformers toy review. Having a look at another third party piece here. This is again from Mastermind Creations and this is their, from their reformatted line. And this is their version of Wing R29 Aero Alpha Swordsman. So I've had a look at the kind of first figure, well, the second figure from this line. So this one kind of comes before. Uh, so this one's been out a little bit longer. So uh, here's the figures on, on his own. The figure that I've already reviewed already, Eta Beta. Eta Beta is basically uh, a, re, a retool of this figure here. Um, obviously there's quite a bit of differences in repaints and whatnot, the head's different. But the basic transformation is the same. So for the transformation, I'm gonna be going from uh, robot mode to vehicle mode. Um, so just to show you the transformation, it, and it is pretty much the same, it's just different parts really. It's a bit like the Combiner Wars and um, Titans Returns figures, they've got the same sort of engineering. So I'll show you the figure in a minute, but I'll show you the box and everything else first. So you've got the box here, so same as we saw before from the reformatted line. Um, sort of classic stuff that they've got on here and then on the back it shows you him with all his kind of accessories and and whatnot which is um all looks rather cool so you've got that uh with it again you do get um the comic book and instruction booklet so yeah so this way you've got uh you've got a ton alternative head sorry You've got the legendary greatsword, twin sabers, arrow alpha figure, um, and you've got his instructions here. Um, thing about um, reformatted hardball, so that uh, will be coming up sometime. And then round here, we've got um, reformatted on broken wings. So this is the first part of the comic story of the three-parter, which I showed you. And so this is by Again, uh, arts by Hector Sigma. No, sorry, the story's by Hector Sigma and Marty Prime, and the artist is the same one from the other one. So it opens up here. It's a very cool comic again, and uh, very well written. And uh, and then it's sort of to be continued. Uh, it mentions Eta Beta there, so it goes on to kind of talk about him and that. Uh, that is a, a picture of him a to beta there so uh, that's quite cool so you got that um it does come with a little collector's card which i'll just show you in the alternative head so i'll just get that out of the baggie the alternative head here is here and you see it's got uh, just the gray face with the gold bits whereas the other one's got uh, a lot more red on it which we'll come around to see and uh, the wings these wing bits do fold in as well and then you've got the text back here. I've got that the right way around. Again, it's like a credit card thing. Fold it around to the back here. Uh, strength six, intelligent eight, speed six, endurance seven, cast two, courage ten, firepower five, and skill ten. Come around to uh, look at the actual figure. The articulation is all the same. So the head looks down. I think you get a bit more down up on that one I just don't know if I compare it to the other guy yeah you get more you do seem to get more down and up on this guy as opposed to the other one the arms work the same as in they rotate around all the way around out here move up and down here swivel here bend up to here um, again the same with the fingers you've got three fingers on they're all on a base pin, but uh, then you've got one which is separate, and that hand can rotate around. You've got one larger sword here, which has got like a peg, I think, where you can... I don't know if you can peg it onto the back here or not. Um, and it's got uh, blue paint through here. You've got two swords, which are the same as the ones that come with Eta Beta, but just done in different colour. So this is done in silver paint with blue through the middle. And again, they fold in here the head sculpt is really well done you've got red gray in there for the face sculpt and red down either side red paint in here it's lovely feel to plastic to this um, it's got really nice finish 
uh, grey paint in here, blue paint here, like red, grey, uh, red in here, um, you've got grey in here, red down here, you've got, I don't know, this is, I think, I think this is painted um, navy, it's supposed to be in that bit isn't I don't think I think that's actual blue plastic but there's loads of different colours all the way through this figure um, and you see these bits here you can have them so they fold in or out depending on what you look you're going for these bits fold up as well I think that's more to do this transformation and they, these pieces here you can fold them in or out like that depending on how you want it and the legs I think I mentioned again same articulation as before the feet are slightly different but they give you the same stuff here swivel here uh, bend goes all the way back and yeah it's pretty much exactly the same very cool looking figure and um, we get him transformed and have a look at him um, in his alt mode as well which is slightly different to um, eta betas so this has got like a jet mode rather than a vehicle mode so take those out. Uh, fold, fold. Ah, so don't know if these. So that might be for his alt mode that these fold forward. I can't really remember, but uh, we'll have a look at it anyway in a bit. So um, let's try to remember how everything folds around and whatnot. So I start with this these sections around here if I can get these right um, now that's gonna fold around to there at some point that is gonna oh, come around Come around to there. That's going to come around to here, and that's going to fold around to the front here. If I can move this out, this bit up here into this section in here, it's the same kind of transformation as as before, really. So these bits come in here. These bits are going to peg together like so, like that, and then. sure all of that is incorrectly that bit's going to come back into this section here and these bits are going to peg over this section here so I'm not sure if I've got that bit right that needs to come in a little bit or up Let's have a look. All right, I'll try and fold this leg round as well, just so I can get it right. comes around here that's going to fold around go back there um, this I think needs to twirl around like that I think I think that goes like that but we'll soon find out with that bit That bit off its ball joint. Hopefully, that's not too tricky to get back in. I think I've just seen now these bits obviously go together, but I'm just trying to see if this bit comes up here, if it stays down there. I think it goes above does it it 
seems like this bit here just wants to come back it just a jot on it on this one here ah, there we go so just managed to get those two bits in place and then you want to push these bits together so a bit slower on this transformation than I am on the other one so I've just done this one the one time these bits are going to fold back into here and peg over that bit in here there you go ah, so that's better a bit better now this bit here is going to peg into the side of there like that like that and yes yeah, so I think the right way it got it it's actually going to be on this side here with this bit coming forward so I will have to just bring this out and just rotate this bit around like so bring that down like that so we've got that in correctly it looks like these bits come down on here and they'll connect to the kind of back section of it here so kind of part kind of halfway through the transformation really um, I may have done a few bits wrong along the way so let's see these bits will open up here and this is going to open up the front here like that and this headpiece is going to fold around if you can might need to fold this bit out again so I'm getting it all wrong today so might need to have done the back section first unfortunately just need enough clearance just to open this bit up and then fold this bit round just like so and then you can fold this bit back in fold these bits here back into there like so and then yeah that is right ah I know what I've done I know the reason <laughs> right so let's rewind what I need to do which I forgot to do is rotate the waist which is why all of this stuff didn't really fit the way that it should do is that needs to rotate around like that so if you've done what I did done hopefully you'll realize a little bit sooner and realize things don't quite um, line up the way that they should do and that's what you have to do is rotate that waist around um, before you start the transformation so that is my fault so um, yeah fortunately I made a bit, bit of a balls up on that but uh, hey ho it's um, easily done and um, kind of doing the doing it without using the instructions and whatnot so uh, hopefully a few of you guys can uh, forgive me on that one these bits lift up and then you can see where this will line up on the back here. So let's make sure this is all lining up okay. There and on that side as well. This bit will kind of come forward here. And then you should be able to line up. There's a notch on there. Corresponds to there, should be able to feed those in. Like that, and that should fold over and it should slot in like that. Let's try it on this side. Hopefully, try it and uh, see if I can master it a little bit better. line everything up best as I can 
There we go. Line up that side there. And then you can see it's all tucked in here. The back, that bit's tucked in there. Mm, that bit is not tucked in yet. Like that. So yeah, so nearly there. Uh, then these arm pieces here kind of fold round like that. Yeah, like that. Fold that round here so it goes into there like that. So uh, there's a bit of trial and error on this one. Ah, yeah, that's the other thing I didn't see is this needs to peg into here as well. So it's a bit of trial and error the first couple of times um, doing it. But uh, once you've done it a few times, like I said, this is the first time I've transformed it back into this mode. You do have landing gear and stuff on this one, which you don't on the other one. Well, obviously the other one's a vehicle, but you don't, you know what I mean. Uh, so you've got this here, which comes out. These bits here, which come out. It's landing gear. So you've got these bits here, which come out. Look pretty cool. Uh, now, for the official transformation, you're supposed to, this is how he comes packaged. But for the official transformation, you're supposed to bring these bits out here, bring these bits down here like that, like so, like that. So that is the official transformation, and then you bring these bits out like wings, and uh, you've got them here like that. So uh, yeah, I think that looks. All very cool. And then for the um, swords, again, you've got the same thing for the swords. So they just slot in there and then there, that way. And you've got these little pegs here, like that. Same on the other side. Uh, is it that way? It's that way. Like that. Peg in there like so, and can't remember where. Ah, is that where the other one goes? Let's double check. Double check the instructions on that one because I'm not quite sure where that one goes. Uh, let's have a look. Bear with me while I just check on that one. Ah, right, okay, so the sword actually breaks off into two pieces. So you can have this bit here in there, and I can't do it, but basically, you have this bit plugged in here, and then the sword piece plugged in there. But uh, I don't want to pull it off because this one isn't mine, so I've got to hand it back. But uh, there he is in his uh, jet mode, looks uh, very cool. You see uh, these bits can fall out if you don't peg them in properly but it's still cool that you can have everything in there uh, it is a very sleek looking jet mode I must admit um, what I will do is um, I'll get this um, get the um, eight beta tidied up and I'll just do them side by side just to finish off the review okay last but not least I just thought I'd uh, show you the two side by side so you can see how different they are although they use a lot of the same body parts and the same engineering. They've got two very different alt modes. Like I said, you can switch these around, uh, the wings around and tuck them in if you do want to, but uh, very cool, very cool. Um, size, com size comparison right next to each other. The bulk of it is the same size. This one is a little bit longer. Um, Aero Alpha compared to uh, A to Beta, but uh, still both very good. I do really love the feel of the plastic on this one. Uh, not to say that this one is bad in any way, it's just the white plastic on this one, just, uh, it's just got a nice feel to it. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Um, I'll pop links down below to show you where I picked these guys up from, and uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.